Hello and welcome to ride vlog number one. This is a little series I'm gonna start doing where I just ride my bike and talk about stuff. Today, I'm going for a ride on this little trail called, I think it's called Sisters. And then we're gonna go into a trail called the Dees. It's kind of technical. There's quite a few lines on the way down. It's kind of low speed, but you have to keep your balance up. Okay, I'm gonna take my glasses off. I just got these. They're huge, they're like goggles. Filthy shade. I think they're called quarantine or something. I don't know, but they're pretty good. I really like them. So I think it's the left here. Yeah, this is it. Okay, so um, I've been doing a bunch of stuff with my suspension because I weigh like um, 20, 25 pounds more than I did last season. So I've been having to fix all my suspension. I, I mean, I got my sag right. I got my progression right, all that stuff. Right now I'm just have the manufacturer settings in right now. And huh. It's feeling good, but holy cow, what is this? Oh I definitely feel like I'm okay, I'm not getting up that. I definitely feel like my front tire is skipping around a bit. I think I'm gonna try opening my compression a little. So one low speed too high speed let's try that on my fork my shock feels pretty dialed i uh the only change i made to my shock is i added i think 30 psi i got max volume reducers in the shock none in the fork which is weird but for the progression i want it's actually pretty good um and yeah oh there's a jump here whoa that i don't like Okay, let's go back to where we were. There we go. I think my low speed rebound is a little fast. So. Let's try that. I just got bucked forward there. And that was not very enjoyable. This bike has, it came with 170 millimeters front and rear. And uh, I put a 180 millimeter damper in it. So now it's a uh, 180 front, 170 rear. And I actually really like it. I kind of wish YT sold their bikes like this. I think their higher end Capra comes with a uh, 180 front rear, or at least it did a few years ago. I don't know about now. Can I get up this? Oh, oh, yes. Whew. That was sketchy. But yeah, I'd say generally, if you're an aggressive rider, you like downhill and you like to have fun, get the bikes with a little bit more suspension than less. Cause if it's heavier, all that, I'm not climbing this. All that means is you have to get stronger to pedal it up. And it means you'll have a more fun, confident, and smooth descent on the way down, which will ultimately make you a faster rider. And also, who cares about climbing? It sucks, just push your bike. I've been running just duct tape right here on my chain stay for about a year. And I just now, 11 and a half months later, got the replacement chain stay from YT. I don't know what's up with that, kind of frustrating. Props to YT though. Their bikes are built to last, so give them that. If I've been riding with a broken frame for this long, as aggressively as I have, and it's still not in half, props to you YT. But you gotta work on your customer support. Like, come on. Okay, so this trail is called Sisters. Uh, there's a bunch of ah, different lines. So I'm gonna try to try a few of them and see, see how it goes. Let's hope that my fork is not too jumpy. Okay, here's one secret line. It comes up here and then you can avoid that berm. Go around this rocky one. Go through here. I think this is the line. That's pretty smooth. Now this one is really tight. I think you gotta go outside. Like that, yeah. Now there is one line I've never tried right here. 
and I'll pass. It looks a little sketchy. Now this one though, this one's really tight. Nice and slow. Yeah, that's it. Then we just got some off amber rocks and roots. Ah, I hit my foot on that. Now this, if I remember, yeah, there's a really awkward rock there. And this one you need to go wide on, I think. Oh, I can do that. I'm doing that again. I got cut out on one of the rocks. Okay, nice and outside. Oh, it's that rock. It's this little bugger right there. I just need to carry a little more speed and then I'll make it because I need momentum. Now I got stuck in there. Ugh. So I have done this before. Same exact spot. This is getting old. Right in the channel. Yeah, there we go. Now over here is the fun rock roll, if I remember. Yeah, here it is. Go up and down. And here's the secret line. It looks like it's become the main line. Ah, almost. I'm gonna redo this one. Ugh, one day I'll clean this trail. Oh, hit my pedal. Yeah, that's it. You just gotta go nice and slow and chill over that. Over here is just some rocks. What's the line? And my hands are killing me. I don't think this change to the fork was very good. That's awkward. There we go. I think this is the way the trail goes. Not completely sure. Here we go. And then you go left here. Eek. Okay. That was sisters. Not the cleanest run ever, but we got it. I don't think it's the rebound packing. I'm not using full travel though. I think I'm gonna open low speed compression one and close high speed one. Because on those low speed movements, I think I'm just going through too much travel. And I think on the high speed ones, they're just packing. I think, I don't know. Got a little jump. And then we got a little rock roll here. And then a climb. Everyone's least favorite. I mean, I have no volume space here, so I can't make it more linear, even though I like a progressive fork, which doesn't make sense, because on my two as I just have max volume space here front and rear, and the progression is absolutely fine. It's actually really humid today, which is weird for evergreen because usually it's like the driest place ever. You can see by the dirt, but it rained earlier and the moisture's just kind of stayed. Usually dries out pretty quick. So now we got some downhill. And if I remember, this is pretty off camber, which sucks, but oh well. A little jump here. That's fun. And this fork feels a lot better at speed though. Wall ride. Aha. I don't like all these off-camber rocks, so they're keeping me guessing. 
It's quite fun though, this is a fun trail. What do we got here? A little tight turn. You. That was fun. Now if I remember, there's a few jumps up here. So I'll try to do a little whip on them or something. Oh, here we go. Manual. Here's the jump. Now oh, that's the best part of the trail right there in my opinion. Flow, a little bit of roots for the tack. All, all in all just fun. Whoa. Hey, there's a tree there. There we go. All right, that's fun. Trees. Oh, this root is weird. Eesh, it always kicks your back tire out. It smells like a garden right now. This is, I think the fast section. I don't know, man. Oh yeah, here we go. And then we got this off camera turn. Eek, okay. There we go. I think that's about it. Oh, right, this thing, the roost turn. Okay, I'm just gonna go foot out, flat out, and just try to shroud this turn up here. Woo! That was awesome. Only a tiny bit of back break there. And then we got a bridge. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of trail vlog one hope you enjoyed it if you want me to talk about something because i didn't really have anything to talk about in specific just leave a comment and i'll read it okay later